There aren't many harmonica grooves sweeter than a country blues rhythm played on a low harp. Country blues, backwards blues, rural blues, call it whatever you like. Often country blues is just a guitar and harmonica and the voice. The instrumentation is sparse and that allows for a lot of flexibility and it's got this very loose feel. I'm using a harp in the key of A. Low harps are lovely for this kind of chord style, so if you've got a key of A, let's go for it. For anyone who's done my lesson on Old Jabbo, the Sonny Terry tune, you might be familiar with this pattern. Even so, it's great to recap if you're new to this. It's a two bar groove. This is sort of the most famous Sonny Terry pattern, probably. And we're, but we're gonna attack the second bar before the first, because it's a little bit easier. So basically I've got my A harp, I'm going nice and low on the chords and I'm going. Okay. Let's cycle that, try and go nice and slow, breathe deeply from the diaphragm. You could just make a little uh uh in the throat when you breathe, if that helps. Let's just repeat that and I want you to really try and relax, relax the shoulders. No tension. So for me, this groove, when it's relaxed, it sounds great on a low harp. If we can really relax into it. Okay, that was bar two. Now we're gonna to go to bar one, okay. This one's a little bit trickier because we've got those three chords. Here we could use a little articulation on the in-breath. On the in-breath. If that helps, you know, you might need that, you might not. I really like to use this effect in the throat. where I sort of bounce the chord and it's super relaxed, but there's many ways of playing this groove. Let's try putting both of those bars together. Here we go. Three, four. Notice this is almost the reverse of the old Jabbo pattern, which is kind of cool. It's always nice to have a variety and as many grooves as you can. Let's try it with a backing track. One, two, three, four. This two bar groove features in my Country Blues Level 1 course. Do take a look at that if you like this style. So I know you all want to go nice and fast, which of course sounds great, but I would really recommend trying to take it slow if you need to set a metronome. So in country blues, we have a great history of duos. There was Sonny Terry, Brownie McGee, slightly more contemporary would be uh, Cephas and Wiggins. Uh, a more modern duo would be Joe Felisco and Eric Noden. Fantastic duo, living the tradition of the older players. Country blues music, you could say it's set in the foundation for a lot of other styles. Some people might argue that. This is a great book, uh, Escaping the Delta. Check this out. Um, for 
great history of country blues. Very interesting, talking about Robert Johnson a lot and those players. I'd highly recommend that if you're into this style. So we've got a groove and that's all flowing nicely. What else can we do? Well, how about we play a lick for a bit of variation and almost like a snatch of melody. So if I take a sort of classic Sonny Terry lick. Here it is again. Three, four. And we'll repeat that. Two, three, four. When you're playing these simple licks, the good thing about that is it really allows you to pay attention to tone. and trying to get this clear, relaxed tone, not only on the groove, but on the single notes. And for me, when you listen to Sonny Terry, it's just such a sweet timbre that he gets out the instrument. And I think that's just been relaxed and precise. I could scoop that bend a little on the three. Move into the four. Did Sonny Terry tong block? Did he pucker? Ooh, answers on a postcard. <laughs> I would say try and get a nice clear tone. I'm tong blocking here just because that tends to be my default. You don't have to. So what about we go back to our groove? Okay, that's going to be two bars. And now I want to do a two bar lick. The lick we've done is only one bar, so let's repeat it. Three. start to add some little embellishments to the lick and the groove, warm it up a little bit. Let's try that with the backing track. All right. course we've got standard grooves that was quite a standard Sonny Terry groove but I can interpret these things differently start to add some tong blocking and maybe different licks as well that's where things get a bit more fun let's get our pulse okay let's get that groove Try a bit faster just for fun now. Starting to play around there at different speeds, but of course I've built that up from a slow foundation and then I can start to explore different variations. So thanks everybody. If you enjoyed this, do take a look at my Country Blues course level one. I've got lots of one bar grooves, two bar groove interpretations, whole load of one bar and two bar licks. There's three backing tracks included at three different speeds. So those rustic backing tracks with washboard and guitar, perfect to play along to. And I even give you a whole suggested piece with an arrangement to try your own piece which aims to get you involved in your own creativity. Start to add some sound effects, whoop in as well, and then you've got a nice solo piece. Thanks everybody, see you for the next video. Bye bye.